Big thanks to Arm & Hammer Baking Soda for sponsoring this video. If you take Arm & Hammer Baking Soda and you mix it with cornstarch and water, it creates this really cool moldable clay. Now the way you can make this at home is you first take two cups of Arm & Hammer Baking Soda and you mix it with one cup of cornstarch. Hey, also, I broke my finger, the tip of it, into four pieces. So if you see a big, fat, puffy finger uh, and me babying the finger like this whole video, it's because I broke it. You then add one one fourth cup of water and mix it up in a bowl. From here, you heat it up over the stove top until you get a consistency of mashed potatoes. So there we go, there's the mashed potatoes. You can obviously make them more dry by keeping them on the pan for longer. Take it off the pan and let it cool by placing a damp cloth on top. Okay, so it's cool to touch now. And because it's close to Christmas time, we're gonna make a Christmas tree. So the first step is we're gonna make the base of the tree. It's gonna be like the log. Essentially, this big old lab we're gonna make like as a cone. I'm gonna make a little present here. Compact so it's nice and flat. Now, if you want to keep your creation, you can uh, either let it air dry or you can stick it in the oven at 300 degrees for about an hour, and that should dry it out to the point to where it's uh, firm enough that you can actually paint your item. All right, so it's been roughly one hour. We go ahead and bring out our Christmas tree. Looks pretty awesome. So we're gonna let that cool just for a bit, and then we're gonna paint it. Green, Christmas-like. I'm into it. Look at that brown, nice rich hazelnut. Okay. I think I'll just do dots. How about that? Mm. Oh, wow. It's probably too thick. Welcome to Nikki Mouse Channel of Painting. Where we're going to paint some pretty little trees. Nice. It's pretty good. Okay, there we go. It's kind of like the perfect little accessory to go with our No Snow Snowman that we made in our other Arm & Hammer baking soda video. Um, just the perfect little fun, awesome science experiment that you can do at home with your family and friends. So by mixing Arm & Hammer baking soda and cornstarch together, we have this material that pretty much looks and feels like hard clay. So this got me thinking, how large of an item could we make with this clay? And would it be possible to make a real functioning sled out of this baking soda clay? Now, we did some earlier testing and made several batches of mini flat bricks with different ingredient combinations. We did this because we figured in order to scale up, we'd have to enhance the baking soda clay formula. We found that the optimal mixture is Arm & Hammer baking soda, cornstarch, and a little bit of kaolin clay. The kaolin clay acts as a binder and keeps the material all in one place without cracking. Now that we have our materials in place, we thought we would engineer three different types of sleds to make sure that we would actually get down the hill. Our first concept is called the Soda Flyer. This is a solid piece of soda clay mixture shaped into a sled that we're letting air dry. A cookie dough. All right. Ta-da, sled. See? That's it. This will produce no friction. This guy gets it, for sure. Be about there already. You should make it flat and then curve it up. Add the curve? Yeah. Pretty wild. You're pretty wild, man. It's pretty good. I mean, we can fill the gaps in with other pieces of wood. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Our second concept is called the Bricky Boy. This is a sled made from many soda clay bricks that we oven baked with a second layer of polyurethane spray foam. Handing off the baton like Olympic runners. Pick your frost in a cake. Squish. <laughs> Industrial cake. Oh, okay. I get it. I know words. This design allows for some flexibility so we don't crack the sled on a rock or a chunk of ice. Also, the polyethylene plastic sheet base could reduce friction while on the snow, so we think this brick could slide pretty well. We think. <laughs> Got it. 
Our third concept is called the winter barrow. This is the same material creation process as our soda sled flyer. Pizza pie, you want the sled. The sled is also molded over a wheelbarrow that was inspired by our fake snow mountain test. Ah, the only man to have ever slid down a wheelbarrow without any wheels on a carpeted ramp. And then let's just cut these corners so it's not like we don't need that. Yeah. All we gotta do is let it dry now. Thoughts? I also agree. Bricky Boy is looking really good. There's a lot of flex in between the actual bricks uh, and the polyethylene actually stuck to the spray foam. So we're actually in a great spot with Bricky Boy. I think this is gonna do really well. We got the, the perfect uh, sled shape up here. One of the sort of advantages here was that we baked these first. The, uh, the Arm & Hammer baking soda little bricks here. So we don't have to worry about drying because it already is dry. And so this could go out right now. So here's our soda sled flyer. This looks awesome. It's exactly how I planned. It's very solid. I think it dried a lot better than the winter barrow. Now, now that I see it kind of all out, it actually makes me really nervous because I think of all of them, this one might be the one that gets destroyed first because I'm seeing how thin it is and I can kind of like just get an idea about how brittle it is. All right, so this is the winter barrow and it's not quite dry actually. Like if I push in on the center here, uh, it, still goes in a little bit. What that probably means is that on the bottom there, right underneath this uh, plastic sheeting, it's probably still a little um, soft still. So we're gonna let this keep drying. It's done a really fabulous job drying from the top down, um, but it's looking great. Winter barrel for the win. So it's getting super close to Christmas time and there is no snow on the ground here in California for us to go sledding on. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna wait about another two weeks for the sleds to dry completely, and then we're going to spray them with spray paint so that we can make uh, completely waterproof sleds. Then, at the first heavy snow, we're gonna take all three sleds up to Northern California, and we're gonna see which sled performs best. Thanks again to Arm & Hammer Baking Soda for sponsoring this video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can see which sled is best in part two of the Soda Sled Experiment.